Well, top of the morning from Buttedale, British Columbia. After a night of ghost stories, folk songs, and s'mores by the fire, we were up bright and early to pack our gear, eat some breakfast, and get back on the water. Before leaving, we took the opportunity to bask in the glories of nature. We also refilled our water bottles from a natural spring. See the guys over there in the distance on the jet skis? Refilling water bottles. Along the way, we encountered many of these majestic waterfalls. Like a proud father captaining the wood paneled station wagons of old, Papa Steve had each one of us motor around to the front so he could take our picture. After arriving in Bishop Bay, the men laid out their wet gear in the warm sun and made their way to the hot springs. Okay, here I am, hot springs. Goes up there. But here's the springs. This run between Bishop Bay and Hartley Bay is epic. And that's not a word I throw around very often. It's kind of an overused word, but this is really what it's all about. So right now we're in the small native village of Hartley Bay, and I think we're going to try and see here tonight. In Hartley Bay, I actually spotted a sailboat from my current city of residence, Austin, Texas. It's called the Papalote. Well, we fueled up and we're going to make a push from Hartley Bay to Prince River tonight. in the Grenville Channel and what the locals here in the Hartley Bay call the Grenville Grind. We're all pretty beat up so we made our way back to the harbor and we're actually sleeping on the docks tonight and then probably about 4 5 o'clock in the morning we're gonna get back on the water and push the rest of the way to Prince Rupert. So this is our, our home for the night. My bed. Before bedtime, we did have an opportunity to enjoy dinner at one of the local residents' home. With full tummies, we made our way back to the dock and settled in for the evening. Well, it's five o'clock in the morning at Port Hardy. Steve got us up early to uh, get across the Grenville Channel. It turned us back yesterday. It was just 70 miles of rough water. So we're up at 5 a.m. Waters are supposed to be fairly calm, and we're gonna make it our push to Prince River today. So that's the plan. So right now we're refueling about 20 miles outside of Prince River. Yes. In case you missed it, Stephen just said, it's going to get rough. I thought to myself, wait a minute, it's been rough all morning. Here we are now, refueling in this relatively calm section of water. I thought we were home free. Well, it got rough. Super rough. We continued our way towards Prince Rupert and probably some of the roughest waters we'd experienced so far. Unfortunately, I was not able to line up an SD card in Shearwater, so I wasn't able to film the rest of the journey. Well, we made it to Prince Ripper, praise the Lord, and I mean that. Conditions are pretty brutal. A few days later, I was going through my SD cards and realized I had 40 minutes of footage inside of a dry bag. Yep. At some point, my GoPro was inside of a dry bag, the play button was pressed, and it recorded nothing. That was 40 minutes of time I could have used 
to capture the drama of those dangerous waters. A little interesting fact, we use so much fuel fighting the waves and the currents that we literally came into Prince Rupert on fumes. And we did refuel this morning on the water. And there you have it, the end of a truly great adventure. More to come, but for now, I leave you with this picture of the men I shared that journey with. A special thank you to Stephen Mall and his family for dreaming big and making adventures like this possible for others. And a truly special thank you to our families who love us, support us, and encourage us. From the city of Prince Rupert, the province of British Columbia, and the great country of Canada, this is Patrick from Expedition Fitness signing off.